on this show or this platform, I gave an indication mm -hmm. that the moment Akufuado issued a statement and said, unquote, I am confident like you that at the end of the day, your integrity whilst in office will be fully established. I knew that the entire government machinery will be put in in order to whitewash this whole conversation. How do you mean? Yes. You see, it is a very consistent character, you know, traits of Mr. Akufuado that if the matter relates to corruption, abuse of office, one, they will try and put a certain firewall around Akufado himself. So they will try so much to insulate him from that. Now, when they see that it is almost impossible, they will put in all the public apparatus in order to clear the person. You see, first of all, our constitution requires that public officers should do what we call asset declaration. Mm. Now, the constitution recognizes that when you declare your asset, a lot more things can happen, provides that when it comes to a query, what mm -hmm. is often you know, loosely called unexplained wealth, as a public official, you need to demonstrate that the source of that fund is not a gift, an inheritance, or source directly related to a business that you have undertaken. Those are the constitutional benchmarks that we have. Recognizing that they cannot provide an explanation for this, then they had to cook up a story. And so you the, think this is cooked up? Yes. So the entire government machinery had been whipped in line to provide a narrative that takes the public uproar, the outrage from the public away from Cecilia Dapa, her direct connection with the president, and whitewash Mr. Akufuado and his government. Because you see, of all the scandals that have happened relative to this administration, the Cecilia Dapa scandal provides direct monetary conversation to the scandal, monies in her home. So that you see, if you're a public servant, like my brother here, and you are even earning 10,000 a month, it will require you almost 90 years to have $1 million at home. And that even means that even your 10,000 Ghana city salary, you don't spend. You've just been saving it. So it, it puts in proper context, if you're a civil servant, how long you need to work in order to get $1 million. And in the case of Cecilia Adapa, it becomes even more difficult to put it in proper context. And that is why the entire government machinery had been whipped in line to sanitize the facts 